Welcome to this DTS video where we'll be uh, taking a look at a couple things to help you be more efficient with Game Breaker and uh, working with your video. First we'll take a look at some keyboard shortcuts, custom ones that you can create and you can apply them to any number of applications on your Mac. Uh, obviously we're going to show how we apply them to Game Breaker and a couple workflows there. And then we're going to show you some preferences that came in 8.5 in the update. Uh, if you didn't see that or haven't need to update, please uh, check out our support our support site. There's a blog there. Sports Tech put a video that more details all the preferences. We're just going to highlight a few. Um, so they have a video there on our support site, and um, you can get the update there if you're in version 8. So this is for people that are in version 8 and want to make sure they're running the latest version, which is 8.5. And... Um, you also, if you're on, what we'll be showing here is on a Snow Leopard machine, which is anything in a 10.6. So if you're on a 10.6 machine, you want to make sure you're updated to 10.6.8. Uh, Lion is 10.7, so you should be fine. Any earlier, like a 10.5.8 10, is Leopard. That's as far as you can update without buying a new uh, Snow Leopard update disc. And 10.4.11 is Tiger. And that's as far as you can go. And uh, you might want to check with us because you might need to get a new Mac if you want to update your machine. So to update your machine, first just click the Apple and run software update. This will need a system restart. So just make sure you're done with anything you need. Uh, the time varies depending on your internet connection and how much you need to update. So it may take 15 minutes or half hour or somewhere in there. So uh, make sure you got the time for that. And then sports code Game Breaker 8.5, here's where you can find out what version you're in. Again, uh, check out our support support site to get the link for 8.5 or go to sportstech.com. All right. Um, so first we're going to show you the keyboard shortcuts for making creating timelines quickly. Um, this is since really helpful as we see more hard drive cameras as a part of people's workflows. And um, also when you're getting Scout, footage from DVDs and ripping a lot of DVDs. This will be really helpful. Um, so first you want to um, click file. So this will be your workflow. If you had your video from your source here on your desktop, you would click File, New, and Timeline. A couple menus there and sometimes you can uh, accidentally jump off of it. And uh, So we want to speed that process up a little bit. So you're going to go to your System Preferences. May it looks the same, but it may be located somewhere else on your dock uh, or in your applications folder. And then we go to keyboard, and we're in keyboard shortcuts. Then click application shortcuts, and then the plus sign. Going to find our applications. We want to apply it just to Game Breaker. And then you want to type in exactly what the timeline command is. I've done it uh, incorrectly here to show you what happens and then a keyboard shortcut you want to pick one typically uh, that's not being used so you just be mindful of some of the ones that you use with other applications um, and the major ones that are taken by uh, the Mac OS X typically you will pop a warning saying you can't use it such as command C because that's a copy so I know shift command T is not used we want to add that, so we'll come back into Game Breaker, File, New. Now, if I had done it right, right here would show my keyboard shortcut, but you can see this menu command has a capital T, which I do not have, so I'm going to click twice, retype it, and then come back into Game Breaker, and there it is. So, with a video on the desktop, Shift-Command-T, up pops the window, and just a cool little quicker way to get to it. Uh, another one that's a time saver is um, if you're exporting video out of Game Breaker, whether that's uh, sharing online or uh, just uh, putting on to flash drives and sharing with people. Um, part of your workflow probably is file, export, movies, convert, movie. So we want to bypass those menus and get right to it and take a look at the menu command here. Capital C, convert, lower M for movie in three dots. So we're going to go... Type that in. I like my Shift Command C idea. Shift Command C. There we go. 
again, nice little cool way to make working with Game Breaker a little quicker. All right, into the preferences. So into Game Breaker's preferences. Again, we're not going to show all of them, but on our support site there is a, a, a link to the sports tech video that goes into more detail of all the, the fixes and development that went into 8.5. Um, up here at general, there's you might see one if you have a previous version that's a hardware accelerator. The development in Game Breaker has made that, uh, that you don't need that anymore. There's improvements made to that on Apple side and Game Breaker side to uh, make that unnecessary. So that's been removed. Capture. This is for those of you who are capturing live, whether through a Canovas box or a mini DV camera. If you want to have the timeline shown during capture or not. If you're not coding, you uh, may not need it since you're just bringing the video in straight. For those who are coding, you want to have this. Um, and you want to have, so you might not want to have timeline movie, you might not want to have this show timeline during capture either. Um, if you are coding, you may want to, you have to have allow code during capture. Well, not necessarily, but one thing to look is you can have code mode during capture. You want to have, you may want to have your timeline shown so you can see your codes, and you may want to have this update timeline check so it updates more quickly. Most of the time it's not necessary unless you really want to see it immediately. The other one that I really like is this create single movie after capture. So if uh, part of your, again, part of your workflow is that you need quickly after the game to uh, update your machine or uh, send your video to the online screen share service, then um, what this will do when it's checked is after you, when you're capturing live, after you're done capturing live, puts a video outside of our program that can be used to up, upload to those online uh, video sharing services. Um, you, we can help to make sure that that video is in a size and format that accept, is acceptable by those, and we can help you, again, help you with that. Uh, email support at dtsvideo.com. So that's that. Windows, I like to have group timeline windows unchecked. And when it's checked and you move your timeline, they both go together. Um, I like to be able to move my timeline. The other one is in movies, autoplay. Uh, when you double click on an instance or row or click make movie, however you're doing that, it'll automatically start playing if this is checked. So um, frequently you have to do that and then hit spacebar to pause it. I just have them turned off so before the video starts I know I have my player's attention and um, they're ready to watch what I'm showing them. The other one is I have adjust display resolution for full screen when presenting. Um, not crucial but just one of those things that helps. So those are a couple ways that we can uh, tailor Game Breaker specifically to you and your workflow and so you're working with video in the most efficient way possible. If you have any ideas, questions, comments, uh, feel free to email support at dtsvideo.com. It'd be uh, really helpful for us to know what your thoughts are and to continue to uh, help you guys in, in your workflows.